Hello, my friend. Today, the stomach creations make fierce engine. I show you how to use very much strength, very much power, and put headbolt in correctly. Yes, correctly. You have to have the torque in the finesse to put the bolt in or you will snap it. Snap the bolt and screw it all up. And then you have to watch a new video on how to get bolt out. But you come to <sighs> the stomach creation to learn wise, wise how to get bolt out. So come, we go now to video. You like, subscribe. We are to the point on this Ranger build that we are now going to torque the heads down onto the block. Now, if you ever heard of you had a bad head gasket or you're blowing some kind of smoke, you don't have very much power, right here, the gasket underneath where we put the head on top, that's what you're going to have to change. Now, there's a very special technique in doing your head gaskets, not like other bolts. When you use these bolts, they're supposed to be a one-time use. And in this product, you actually tighten them three times. So that's why they say it's only a one time use. If we made a mistake and we have to take the head off, then the bolts are kaput and that's it. And we have to buy some more. So um, Ranger Ford does it a different kind of way. So you're going to torque all of these head bolts here to 60 foot pounds. And then you're gonna break the bolt free and go all the way around one time in order. And then you're gonna to torque again to 37 and then torque again to 70. So you're gonna to torque it to 60, that's correct. You're almost there, but then you're gonna break it and go all the way free. So you're gonna do it in a star pattern. So you're gonna start here where I have the, the torque wrench. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then you can go to any one you want, but then continue to start pattern. Pattern, five, six, seven, eight. So you can't just go one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. It has to be kind of like the tire has a pattern that you have to put it on. So if you start this one, you go one, two, three, four, then maybe go back over five, six, seven, eight. Whatever you want to do, do it correctly. Look up in your manual or on the internet a few times, you know, go to Ford.com and see if they have it. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna torque these, I'm gonna break them back, I'm gonna put them back on, and then we're gonna start putting the rockers on, and we're gonna start putting the uh, push rods and the rocker and the pieces that hold it all together so we can keep moving on. So this is the first one. You'll hear the click noise when it, when it goes over. So you just put, you gotta connect, put this to 60 on your torque wrench, foot pounds. You hear it click? That's how, and then you go to the, keep going the star pattern. So this is my number three. Then I will go down. So I'm gonna do the last four, but if you ever do a few and you have to come back, then just torque them all over again, uh, cause you don't wanna make sure that, that one didn't get. After we torque them all down, we're gonna put wherever we are with the breaker bar and crack it and go one new rotation back. And we're gonna do the star pattern again and then I'm gonna come back on and show you how to torque them down a second time. So now I just have a regular breaker bar on here and bring, bring them back at one full turn means if this is where I'm gonna start, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'm gonna do my star pattern again, you know? And wherever I just so happen to be, that's 
where I'm gonna go back to. Now that I broke them all loose, I'm gonna reduce my torque down to 37 because that's what the manual said. And then now I'm gonna just re-torque them back in. So we're gonna go down to where it says 35. Let me see. We can go down to where it says 35 and put the zero. And then we're gonna add one more. That's 36 and 30. Well, it's a half. Okay, there we go. Plus two, because mine has halves. So two plus 35 is 37. And we lock it right in. And then we're going to go for star pattern again. So let's start on this one this time. 37, it's going to be way more loose. You know, we get all these just started by hand here. So they've already started their stretch in their life, you know. So it's 37, a star pattern. So there's one, and then we'll come across, star pattern. So now after we hit them all with 37, we're going to go up to 70. So we're just going to move the little magic wand here way up to 70. And this is our last set. So we set it to 60. We broke it back. Then we're going to set it to 70. 70 and the zero that's 70 and this is the last one we're gonna do our star pattern and then that's it moving the old whole engine you know you don't want to go fast on this because then you don't get a correct number Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Gotta work out to do this stuff. Man, I'm hugging this thing like I want a Valentine's car. You know? As much as we've hugged. Now, now that I got them done, I always just go back over it one more time and do a star pattern. It should click real quick. And I'm, I'm just doing that to catch myself, you know, in case I missed any. And all of them are coming out pretty good. Right there, right there where we need to be. No, right there where we need to be. Click, 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 click. If any of them actually move and didn't click, click right there at barely pulling, I would be unsatisfied with my work. They are perfect. This is exactly, this is exactly what you want when you're torquing down your heads. And that was it. Again, one on, one off, two on, did it in a set. This is perfectly molded down on. If you have to take this off for any reason, head gasket is no longer good. You need to get a new one.